Welcome to Desert Life with Maria. Today on the Weekly Live, we are going to be discussing and celebrating National Appreciation Chef Week. What is a chef? What is a chef? By definition, a chef is a person that is in a hotel, restaurant, or high society setting as a food culinary professional. Why do we have a Chef Appreciation Week? You know, that's really kind of an interesting little tidbit on the history how the appreciation came about. So in 2013, cancer in our country was at a pretty all-time high, and especially breast cancer. And a gentleman by the name of Donald Crutch came up with the Pink Thai Chef Association. And what that meant was any chef in a professional setting that wore a pink tie was supporting cancer, either part of his salary or his company that he worked for, or maybe in a march, he was somehow supportive of that venture. As a result, he thought, geez, we need to honor chefs more. They, they do this behind the scenes and people really don't know too much about chefs. So a year and a half later, Chef Appreciation Week evolved. Um, blogs started with some of the culinary institutes. We also had Chef Works, which is a uniform company that actually we used in my restaurant. Um, it's been around since the 1960s and they started little blogs and appreciations for chefs and voila chef appreciation came about well who are your favorite chefs so interestingly enough all three of my favorite chefs did not necessarily wear hats one of them did but I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the hat, and then I'm gonna tell you who my three favorites are. So the chef hat, which is the one standard that most of us see, it has a big white rim and straight up. The one I have, my granddaughter now has, so I can't show it to you guys, came about supposedly by legend because Henry VIII, back in Renaissance times, was so angry that there was hair in his food and in his royal cup that he had the main chef beheaded. And from that period, anybody that was quote unquote professional in that arena as a chef for society, for royalty, in any kind of food setting was wearing a hat. So, my three favorites, back to your question, but I just thought that was an interesting tidbit because three of my faves, only two, aren't wearing hats. Only one does. So, my first one, Rachel Ray. I absolutely love Rachel Ray for several reasons. Everything's about three with me. Number one, she inspired me when I had my restaurant because she had the 30-minute Food Network channel and really heyday quick fast easy meals something that our restaurant really thrived on because we turned around customers being in a corporate setting that we were established so I love this woman and I love how she's transitioned into accepting life on life's terms she lives in upstate New York her home was burned a couple years ago completely to the ground instead of it devastating her she started from scratch she started telling people how she was rebuilding her husband and her put in the most amazing gardens um, so now they're doing a lot of um, healthy eating recipes and getting 
people in their age group inspired to cook. It, it's just been amazing watching her transition in life. Not to mention... Has she got a website? Yes, she has um, Rachel Ray um, show, both in Facebook and in Instagram, which if you're on Instagram, I would suggest to definitely follow her. Um, this is one of my favorite books. It's a classic. It's one of the very first ones that has the 30-minute meals. And believe it or not, the majority of them are very healthy, clean eating, believe it or not. So, number one. Number two, fave. As you notice, she doesn't wear a hat. She's easy breezy in the kitchen. Okay, number two. I think any chef, professional or not, and by the way, all of you mothers, fathers out there during this crazy pandemic era that we went through this global crisis, you became chefs in your home. I know you did, out of necessity. So kudos to you. So Julia Child, we should all give thanks to because this woman literally brought the art of cooking to America. In Europe, there was always cookbooks and recipes and things being um, explored and science, but America hadn't fine-tuned it as an art until she did. So I really give her a lot of credit I love her sauces, and I love the fact that she always wore white pearls when she cooked. Love this woman. And the last one, believe it or not, is me. And I say that in all humility because all of us should honor our own capabilities of cooking, not only for ourselves and fueling our own bodies, but for our families. And a lot of us realize that during a, this last year and a half. So here I am, I had a hat, mine always kind of flapped down. Um, does this make me famous because I had a book? No. I think any kind of notoriety, and this is where appreciation comes in, this week on our behalf, comes from your heart and your soul. And it's seen and felt in your cooking presentation. So, well, how are you celebrating this uh, appreciation, Chef appreciation week? week? Yeah, the way I'm going to celebrate it again, I love the number three, and I hope you guys take up a suggestion on this. Number one, I'm definitely going to send a little private message um, in Instagram to Rachel Way, just telling her thank you um, for inspiring me so many years ago. I'm also going to send um, to one of our um, favorite restaurants that we go to out here. In their website, most restaurants have a little area for contact, and I'm going to send them a thank you. And another suggestion for any of you is go to your favorite restaurant or your favorite um, dining experience. Maybe it's the little food court in Whole Foods and um, purchase something that you really, really enjoy and tell the server, tell the person behind it that made the cauliflower pizza or that made that homemade bread that you like. Thank you so much for your time and for your love and that preparation. Um, it would be so easy. So one of the things that makes not only chefs happy, but helps us, people like me, to keep doing what we enjoy, which right now this is what I'm doing and enjoying, and sometimes I have recipes, is you follow them. So with all humility, please follow me on Desert Life with Maria. I have a YouTube channel. It's free. I'm working on upping my subscriptions so that I have a wider network and I can provide um, more recipes and ideas and things that happen in the desert to other people. Um, I'm actually hopeful that my message will be carried to a specific network of women um, like myself that 
recreated themselves in the second chapter, um, lived with addiction, and now food is a form of therapy. And I'm working on a whole new uh, arena with that expansion. Just like um, Rachel is now expanding into helping um, inspire people with gardens and developing their own gardens and what's involved with that. So I would so love you guys to follow me um, on Desert Life with Maria. I would also request any suggestions. Sometimes I get people, how do you make um, your banana cream pie using that protein shake? How do you make your muffins? Um, I'd be happy to send you recipes. Sometimes I do lives on them. Uh, so there's a lot of opportunities out there. And the last one is... Hug the chef in your home, whether it's your mom, your dad, yourself. Give yourself a hug. I'm sure in this last year and a half, we've all learned a lot about um, how to fuel our, our mind, our body, and our souls. So with that said, kudos to Chef Appreciation Week. Any other questions out there? Nope. We are good to go. Love to see you next week on Desert Life with Maria. I'll be talking a little bit more about my mission and showing you a preview of the menu I will be serving up. Talk to you then.